Once again, it's the Rad Runner. Hey guys, back here again, uh, my 2019 Rad Runner. I've been kind of in hibernation a little bit, doing a little uh, ATC and Honda ATV in at camp, but not a whole lot of opportunity for video. And so I figured I'd do a little quick ride here on the Rad Runner. Once again, this is my 2019. I've done many, many videos on it. I just want to do a quick ride and I'll do a walk around afterwards. And just because I haven't done a video in a while. So once again, this is the a trail, a road near the near my house in the suburbs, and heading out. It's gonna be about 50 degrees today in Binghamton, New York, and about 50 tomorrow. Even though there's lots of snow, it's wicked warm out. I think it's a good day to get on the bike. Check out this little back road up here, and then. I'll be doing some park exploring really quick. Probably a lot of wind noise today. There's a little bit of a breeze. But I plan on hitting all the local parks and then I'm gonna to head to northeastern Pennsylvania and hit some of those bike paths and parks and hiking trails. So my channel will be picking up real quick here. We should have a bunch of videos a week. It is a pretty good hill here. And this rad does pretty good. I do a little bit of pedaling if it gets real steep. I don't know if you can see how steep it is. It's a pretty decent climb. This handles it real nicely. I pumped the tires up a little more today. Uh, I'm not sure exact PSI, but these uh, most of this trip is on hard road surfaces, and you want to keep them a little softer. You could put them down to 5 PSI for like uh, gravel and even sand. I haven't tried it out, but they say that these are even good in the sand because of these new Kendra uh, knobby tires that are made specifically for the Rad Runner. I won't let this go forever, but I'll take a little ride. I keep it under 10 miles an hour here. That's enjoyable. Anyway, this is Sunday, February 23rd, Binghamton, New York, and this is Everyday Explorer on the Rad Runner 2019. I do a lot of videos on this. I do them on my Honda, Honda ATC collection. I also have a Sonic 2018 Camper Light Trailer 169 VRD, I believe. And uh, I do a lot of hiking and walking videos too. And then I'll also explore some new towns and villages so everybody can take a look at it. There's some people. Horses up here are just beautiful. I don't know if you can see them or not on the hill here. Just gorgeous. We got some walkers here. Because I used two regulations, I'll try not to videotape them too long. Walkers. You get a lot of walkers up here this time of year. It's a great place to walk. Up here on the left, there's a trail, there's a road, it's real light, and just the views are outstanding. It's a great place to walk any time of year, but the summer, fall, and spring is just gorgeous. But I'll end it pretty soon so this doesn't drag on, but I've got my couch all loaded up. I have a whole daily regimen I could pack in there. I use my little air pump today. Works really good. This is that mirror, a cheap one I got from Walmart and .com, and it works really good. Just strapped right on. We got some more walkers. It's like the fifth set that I've seen on my trip.
Alright, I'm back. I had to stop to talk to people and uh, probably a little boring to the viewers. So, this is that back side road that's just fantastic. Walking, uh, riding. And it'll take you from uh, Southern Tier, New York by Ross Park Zoo all the way over to Northeastern Pennsylvania, the state line. So, and you'll go from uh, nice trails to nice mountains and beautiful. I actually have a campground in Northeastern PA. So, probably going to take this it's a probably about 28 to 30 miles round trip from my house to my campground so i'm going to try that this summer or this spring a few times i'm sure it'll be a pretty easy ride i can always charge up when i get there Another decent hill, but climbs right up it. You give it, you put it in power four, which is the top for this, and you can uh, pretty much climb any hill in this area. And uh, the throttle's nice, especially when you're doing videos. I hardly use it if I'm not doing the videos, because on power three or four, you scoot right along without a throttle, so it, it wouldn't be a problem at all not using it. Anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. That's the end of the trail ride. This is Chuck, the Everyday Explorer, just reminding you to explore your life, explore your time, and explore your days. And uh, this is the Rad Power, from Rad Power Bikes. It's the Rad Runner. And I'm not saying it's the best that Rad has to offer or the best uh, e-bike, but for me, it works out really good. I could take this seat low like that on this ride, like a scooter, and I could raise the front up so it feels like a real bike. But, uh, yeah, about 20 miles an hour. If I pedal, like, I can actually get up, like, 23 with the throttle. I've actually got 21, 22 with the throttle. But there's a, what they call it, delimiter or some kind of safety feature that they don't want you going faster. So it cuts off. If it didn't cut off, it would easily go much faster. But it's not about speed for me. It's about getting out and using the pedal assist when I want and uh, a little bit if I don't want. So anyway, Chuck the Everyday Explorer from the Southern Tier, New York on my trail ride here. And I'll post some more for uh, the very few subscribers that I have. Sorry that I haven't posted anything. Like I said, I've kind of been doing stuff, but I haven't had a lot of opportunity to record. And what I will do is get a real good GoPro. So when I'm on my ATVs uh, in the snow, then I could just go ahead and put that up for you. But anybody want to see anything, you want me to review, uh, there's other power bikes in Ithaca, New York, or uh, especially campers, I can get to the campers. So if you're looking to have something reviewed, ATV, camper, or bike, you want to let me know, I'll do a review. Or if you have any suggestions, I'll be glad to do it. So um, just basic quality videos here, and I enjoy putting them on here for anybody who wants to watch. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Everyday Explorer. And I'll see you soon. Bye.